Hello, hello. I am here. Are you ready to make some cards with me? Hello, welcome in. Ooh, I have another piece I just found. Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do with that. Hi, Vera. Welcome. Have you been here before? I'm not sure. Sorry. I don't usually do Sunday lives, but, well, maybe I will in the future. <laughs> I don't know. I just about had a... You just about came on to see a body of a cat sitting on my desk because she was refusing to get down. Hi, honeybees. Oh, a year ago. Wow. Okay. That's why I don't remember. I I was doing Wednesday, Tuesdays and then Wednesday nights and then Thursday nights, but I'm um, not doing Stampin' Up! anymore. So now it's kind of whatever, anything goes. But I do have some Stampin' Up! products I'm still trying to use. Most of them retired, but some not. Anyway, today I'm going to be making cards from the embellishments on in August. I, I do a collab called Embellishments on the 11th with a group of participants, which today was the 11th or is the 11th. And also, moment of silence, please, for those that lost their lives or were impacted by 9-11. It's forever in my mind, and I wrote a little post about that on the community tab, which you can check sometime. But anyway, um, I just don't ever want to forget those people for that that lost their lives and went through that horrible event um, for a senseless, senseless reason. Anyway, so um, these were from August. I made three hippos embellishments and these are no longer available they were part of stampin up celebration event that was um july and august only but um i did make some card bases now i can't i think it was like this and um so we're just gonna put them together and maybe add some ribbons and stuff and then i have a whole pile from today's embellishments on the 11th and those were all fall leaves of varying kinds. And I have some card bases made, but for these three, I don't have anything made. So we'll work with them first after we get the hippos done. Now I also have some retired ribbon or paper pumpkin ribbon. I think this was. Anyway, I should have asked, how are you? <laughs> how are you both doing? It's raining here, which is a good thing. We haven't had rain in quite a while kind of thinking I might want to have this go like this because it needs a little something behind it. So I think I'm going to get my scissors and snip away a little bit and like that. And then we'll tack that down and then bump this up and that'll be that card. And I'm just going to use, this is retired too, it's snail, but I had like nine refills and I just refilled it today. Um, and I'm out of the Stampin' Up! Seal, which is okay with me, because it's not my favorite. Anyway, I do have Seal Plus though. And I do love Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, so we're going to use them. <laughs> Hi, Paige. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that you had that. Uh, it's been, I have not been ill, but I've been mentally stressed the last two months. I've had so many things. Like I was getting ready to um, have my neighbor's father install a new patio door, which I need because I have like a screened in patio, but my patio door won't stay shut. And as a result, it blows open with every heavy wind we have. And it's now destroyed. But just before I was going to go buy a new door so he could put it in, my well broke, my well pump. And um, I had to have a whole new well pump put in. So that was expensive. And then um, my pipes were clogged. So I had to have a plumber out to unclog the pipes. And then my dishwasher just, it's running, but it's 
it's uh, the things in it are rusting. It's so old, they're rusting and falling apart. So I had to go out and shop for a new dishwasher. And my dryer stopped running, and I had somebody out to repair it. And three times of running it later, it stopped running again. And they were supposed to, it's supposed to be under warranty, and they didn't show up. And then anyway, um, my son and I just fixed it yesterday ourselves because they didn't show up. I actually went out and bought a new dryer, and they came and said the they couldn't install it because it doesn't have the right outlet, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, enough of my sob story. <laughs> That's a hippo. Oh, you really are the best. And then this is a little dancing hippo. It says you're always on point. I don't know. I have some, um, I could use that. This is, this is, uh, this is, what is it? Coastal Cabana, I believe. And I don't have any of that kind of ribbon, but I have a shimmery pool party. You don't really need to put ribbon on your cards, but sometimes it just adds a little, you know what, I'm not going to bother because this is already glued down. Um, if I hadn't done that, I maybe would have wrapped this around the center there. Or this one, I could put this, oh, look, it has a stain on it, but that would be under there. Hmm. I could just do that and I'll do that. <laughs> uh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Candy. Hi, Heather. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry about listening to my sob story. Minor for, compared to th other things people are going through. So I am actually quite blessed. So I really shouldn't be complaining at all. <laughs> um. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm in relatively good health, although my doctor might disagree with me tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I started exercising, although last week I, uh, two weeks ago I went once, and then I'm old enough now that I, I, and my insurance has something called Silver Sneakers, and they have Zoom exercise classes, and I actually attended a strength building class one of those and I'm going to do that again because I don't I'm not that familiar with the gym's strength building stuff and I don't want to be lifting weights you know heavy weights and stuff I'm too old for that at least till I get in better shape um I shouldn't be using this many dimensionals I should be using adhesive sheets instead but anyway you get the idea um so I mostly am going to the gym for like walking on the treadmill or using the elliptical but i only got to go like once and it's free because of this silver sneakers that's what i was trying to say so and you can i think this week i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get there oh this is gonna be another busy week though um trying to get there three times a week and then in between do the um no I just got that on crooked and I can't lift it back up anyway and then do the strength training on the off days do you guys exercise talking about bad luck yeah really Ugh. a lot of rain yesterday today is raining here too but I'm actually thankful for that because it has been dry let me see i think i can glue this down i'm just going to use this again i know i have a dimensional on there but and i'm going to put a glue dot on oh. uh, up here on these a couple of these dots up at the top Hopefully that'll work. Yeah, one over here. And they won't show through. This is a die by Stampin' Up! If you missed my embellishments last month. Um, that does half, half designs. I'm trying to see if I can find it so I can tell you what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. Of course I can't find it when I want to. Anyway, oh, here it is. It's called Split Card Textures Dies, and it is this one. I don't know if I used the plaid one yet. And it's just cut out of Daffodil Delight, and I... 
I don't remember where all these papers are out of. Some of them, I know this one is from Design a Daydream. This was the back of some maybe happy, happiness abounds or something like that. I don't remember where all the other ones came from, but um, I did explain it in my embellishments video in August. So that's those three cards, right? Love you a ton. You're always on point. And all oh, you really are the best. So what have you guys been up to? I've been blabbering on about myself. Don't want to do that. <laughs> you try to walk. Yeah. I haven't been walking too much at home because we were walking just up and down the street. You know, like three times because I live in a cul-de-sac. And um, but I have a university right across the street. But honestly, up until like a couple days ago, it was too hot, even at night. It was like 85, which I, I wilt in 85. I know those of you in warm clim climates are probably laughing about that, but um, that's hot for me, <laughs> and I can't. I just can't. So now it's cooler, but now it's raining. So I figured I might as well get to the gym to do the walking, and my son's working second shift now, so he's not home to walk in the evening with me, and I don't like doing stuff alone. I'm just weird that way. Although sometimes it's good. And I honestly, for me to get to the gym and go by myself is a big, that's a big deal for me because I'm not good about going out on my own other than like shopping and stuff. You know, I feel weird going alone with nobody to talk to. All right. I'm looking, I think I'm going to make this one next. And I think I'm going to use mint macaron as a card base with early espresso as a card mat, perhaps. So let me cut them and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, life can get crazy, that's for sure. So I'm just going to make an A2. Most all these cards, all of them actually are A2. And I'll keep that. I used to keep, um, well, I still have a bin on my desk, but I decided I'm only going to keep neutrals like white, um, very vanilla, crumb cake, and black card bases and mats in it. Although I don't think I have enough white ones made um, as far as the mats. And so I decided not to do the colors that way. I'll just keep, if I have some pre-made card bases, for the colors, I'm keeping them in with the cardstock because I keep all my cardstock. My it's almost all Stampin' Up stuff. All the Stampin' Up cardstock I keep in these job ticket folders, which holds about 25 sheets. So I keep my scraps in there, and also the pieces big enough to make card bases. And sometimes these card bases get cut down into card mats, <laughs> like this by four five and a quarter by four and then i'll just keep that one as a scrap from early espresso my mind is still even though i'm not a demonstrator i have the papers and i'm sure my mind for a while is going to always think in terms of um stamping up now i feel like i want to add texture to this and also maybe some of this gold or gold ribbon. Uh, let me see something here. I'm using this ribbon up a lot because I don't really like it. <laughs> but it's shimmery. It's, it's thin and it's shimmery. I shouldn't really say that. So maybe we could do something like this after I emboss. And I have the fall, the leaf. Um have this here but I don't think that's what I want to use for this one um I could thank you Melanie hi are you okay you get sick of talking to yourself <laughs> that's right having somebody to do stuff with is a lot funner and then my friend's birthday is um Tuesday and we usually go out to eat but I don't know it's supposed to we we go out to eat and then shop afterwards at various thrift stores and stuff but it's supposed to rain Tuesday as well so I, I don't know her birthday's Tuesday 
I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. And then Wednesday is my dishwasher is to be delivered. Yay. All right. I'm going to go get a different embossing folder than this that has like all over texture. Let me go see what I can find. I'll be right back. They're not too far away. Ooh, burlap sounds good. All right, so I found this one. I don't know if I ever used it before. It's called Burlap. It's a Tim Holtz Alterations, which all the ink is rubbing off of. So let me, um, before I do that, I have a product review real quick. Two product reviews, things I have been enjoying. Um, number one, is this now it's a little dirty in fact this is the magic mat by scrapbook.com and it says that it won't warp and so far and i've been using it for all week now you can see it, things really do stick to it i'm gonna just put a little water on this baby wipe because my baby wipes are dried up and um just wipe it clean i really like this i have not had to run my dyes through as much like i used to go back and forth and sometimes i still do but it's not because i have to um but i have not found except on one detail ooh, look how dirty that was one detailed dye um i haven't found that i've had to go like four times or five times or six times and I'm using this as my bottom plate, and this is my regular top plate, because uh, these come in a pack of two, and I used to just alternate, but my bottom one is so warped and messed up. So, now I've only been using this like a week, week and a half, but I'm loving it so far. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is, I used to struggle with washi tape. Um or green tape tearing my paper when I was holding down dies. And I know I, I could have just used post-it notes, but you know, they only have the sticky on the one side. This post-it tape is great and you can use it for masking too. It's like sticky, but not very sticky all over on, on the one side. And you can reuse them. I reuse it till it's like, I can't use it anymore to hold my dies down. And I have not had it rip my paper yet. <laughs> So that is wonderful. Let me see. Um, now, I'm probably, for the colors, Melanie, I'm probably going to mostly stick with um, Stampin' Up. But I'm going to, once I'm out of my white, I'm probably going to go with the Nina, Nina Solar White that Jennifer McGuire recommends. It's 110-pound cardstock. I did get these little scrapbook.com um, tablets, which I showed in a haul, just to try them. They're 85 pound, so they're not really any heavier. They make, they're a little thinner than Stampin' Up! actually, I think. And it looks like they have a white core, which I'm not thrilled about. But, um, but I thought they'd be all right. They're A2 size and slimline size, so I thought they'd be all right for quick cards if I need them or to use for die cutting you know to cut and some of these colors are similar like this looks like Bermuda Bay this is almost it's actually a prettier mint and mint macaron in my eyes I don't know anyway you know <laughs> I'll mix and match oh well yeah that could be alligator skin I don't know if I'll like it with this card but I'm gonna try it okay so this does not feel like a 3D, so I'm going to use, I'm going to take my plate two off. So with, I have the Stampin' Up! machine, and for regular embossing, you're supposed to use two plate threes, take out your plate two, and that's it. So let's see if it works. Oh gosh, sorry, my phone is ringing. No clue who that is. I'm not going to answer it, so sorry for the buzzing. It worked fine. Perfect. Now, will I like that? I could use this side, which is indented, and you have more of the lines. 
mm. or this side with just the I'm gonna go with that side we'll try it now what I do with my embellishment here and also Catherine Pooler I will I'll check that um I've heard Catherine Pooler inks and stuff were pretty good. I did buy another ink. Um, I haven't really used it much yet. And um, this was another Jennifer McGuire recommendation. Because I use Memento all the time or stays on. But this ink is it's called Amalgam Ink. It's supposed to work with both your alcohol markers and your dye-based um your watercolors it says works with alcohol markers colored pencils and watercolors but i can't recommend it yet because i haven't worked with it enough yet and uh, it's a gina k designs amalgam ink and it's black obsidian is the color so yeah i have to do that now i'm looking for mint macaron ribbon which i know i have two versions of i don't really want the have one that's very um, dimensional. Maybe I'll see that one. It's velvet and it's very thick, um, but it might work on this card. Do I want to do that? I think I want to go this way with it then, or I could do the gold, like I said. No, let's do that. I think that'll work. So, I'm actually going to use Terran tape, which I don't use very often, um, to put that down. I usually use, like, Seal Plus, but honestly, Seal Plus, um, well, this is a problem. Well, <laughs> it's a problem because I can't get anything on straight. I should use my T-Ruler. Highly recommend using that. I'm just too lazy to do it most of the time. Yeah, I thought it would work good for that too. We shall see. We shall see. So these first three um, cards will take a little longer because um, I didn't have them planned out. I had the embellishments made, but nothing really uh, planned. Um, so... The other ones are pretty much ready to go, except some ribbon and maybe some embellishments. Now, let's see. Will the ribbon pull up a little bit? Because maybe I can get the ribbon straight, even though the tear and tape is, well, it's better. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's better. Good enough. Good enough. And I'm going to put that back over here somewhere. All right, so let's bring this back over, and we're going to go sideways there, and I'll use dimensionals for this, um, and I do happen to have a piece of um, foam adhesive sheets. These are Stampin' Up!, but I have another brand as well that I'll use once I'm done. Actually, oh, shoot, that's all right. I'm going to put this over here. Maybe I'll cut this. Actually, I'm going to cut this. I need a little block down here. And then I might put a longer strip along there. Uh, see, and my, as far as back to exercise, my thing is I don't really know people my age in my area to have anybody I don't have any friends in this area my other friend is 40 minutes away so we meet somewhere and usually and go to breakfast or lunch and then go shopping like I said at thrift stores but there's nobody all my neighbors are like 30s and 40s kind of thing some have little children the, the neighborhood has kind of, um, it's like, what do you call it? It's re, it's like 
switching generations it, when i moved here most people except one or two were older than me and now most people are younger than me <laughs> and i'm one of the older ones here i do have a couple of neighbors see i think that's pretty what do you think all right i think we'll just um yeah i'm gonna use wet glue to put this down i think i had a I organized my embossing folders, Stampin' Up! N9, and I put all the fall ones together. And I do have another leaf one, but it's like, um, it's not these kind of leaves. It's, it's like uh, this shape of leaf. Oops, let's get this on here, right, Deb? Pay attention. Now, probably what I should have done if I was smart... And sometimes I'm smart and sometimes I'm not. I probably should have put this down, made sure it was adhered really well, and then put this stuff on top. But there you go. And for the inside, I'm just going to put a piece of, hopefully, um, actually I'm going to put a piece of very vanilla because, A, I have more of those. And that's what's in this paper. Um, if I can get a hold of one. Got a hold of two. And this paper is the uh, Gilded Autumn, I think. And I put it away already. So I'm not going to put any paper on it. <laughs> Thank you, Paige. I appreciate that. Um, once my i do like this um glue but i really wish it came in larger bottles so and i also do love um what i was using before and i have more of this however i'm not a fan of these tips because this is the second time i've gotten a pin stuck in there where the pin head pulls off and now the pin is stuck in there and I have to use pliers to get it out. So I think I have a bunch of those little plastic bottles with um, the fine point tip. And I think that I got on Amazon or something. I think I'm gonna take some time at some point here in the future and um, fill them and use my art glitter glue soon. So yeah, I really like that. It is a bit dimensional. So, yeah, I will need to add extra postage if it goes in the mail. <laughs> Put a bead between the end of the pin. Oh, oh, does it, Paige? That's good to know. I, I do like the Tombow. I, you know, when I, before I started Stampin' Up!, I was using this, which is also Tombow. And I liked it, but I used it recently and my paper got kind of crumply. So the green one is the way to go for paper craft. I think I wasn't really, this dries clear also, it starts clear and um, it is strong just like this one, but I didn't like it as much anymore, but I have a little bit left. So I'm going to have to finish it on something. I don't know what. All right, let's figure out these. Oh, that one goes there. Let's figure out these. This is just an extra piece of scrap from the Gilded Autumn. Um, so I can get Cherry Cobbler card base and Crushed Curry. Or I can use, oh, I didn't bring it over here, Old Olive. Let's just get a piece of the card and see. See, that would be too much unless I put a white mat or a green mat on it. You know, something like. All right. We're going to do this, but we're going to stamp all over the background, I think, on this one. Because... I can. Now, I'm a person that I have to score the cards, and they don't always get perfectly um, even. 
That one's pretty good, actually. Sometimes they get off by just a smidge. And you know what? I've gotten to the point where I just cut cut the extra, extra off. This one got a little bit curled. but All right, let me get a scrap paper and a stamp of some kind. Let's see what I have down here. Ooh, maybe. What's the stamp look like? No, I don't think so. I'm looking for something that I can use as a is an all over. Um, I don't want to do the pheasant, but I'm thinking these three little leaves all over. Maybe they're a different leaf too. Ah, where's my all over things? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I know what. I have that magazine stamp here somewhere. Here, I have Coco and Reno. Fall. I don't want to use pumpkins. And these are dyes. Where's my magazine stamp? Oh. It's here somewhere. Hang on. Because I just put it up here. I stuck it in the magazine. The card making, the paper craft. I think this stamp here, which is four stamps on one thing, will work just fine. Sorry for the crinkling. And I cleaned a couple blocks as I was waiting to come live. So let's get cherry cobbler. I'm just going to do tone and tone and tone. Should I do cherry cobbler? Or should I do like old olive? What do you think for stamping this all over? I'm going to do the cherry cobbler. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, Joanne's left your area, Melanie? Wow. You're three and one. Oh. Wow. Line Co. and Beacon. Huh. Yeah, I don't know that I've even heard of those. Um, all right, I need a piece of scrap. I think I've heard of Beacon. I might even have that in my... A couple times I've watched other people, and of course I have to go out and get whatever they have, you know. Because um, that's what I do. But... Um, so I have some stuff in a drawer somewhere that is just waiting to be used. Let's see. I'm gonna... Indecision, indecision. How am I going to... Uh, I'll cover that up, hopefully, mostly. <laughs> that open spot there. So this makes a cute all-over background, right? And... One more because I just don't like corners being left empty. And for now, I'm temporarily going to go like that because my chamois is dry. <laughs> Oops. So just so you all know, I didn't leave Stampin' Up! because I don't like their products. But I do have lots of other products and I haven't been using them. So, yeah, that'll fit on there. That makes it better, right? And then I could put a few more gems around, but I think, I think I'm think i just going to leave it like that. What do you think? Yeah, the mushrooms are cute. I have mushrooms in Stampin' Up! I think in the gnome set by Stampin' Up! too. I could pop that up. This already has some ribbon on here. And the other thing I could use is washi, but I think I'm just going to leave this one as simple as that. And if you don't like those, you know, like if you have stamps like that and you don't like them all together, you can cut your stamps. But I kind of like that I get that coverage pretty quick. And then if I want to, I could stamp them on paper and then fussy cut them apart. Ugh. I don't like doing that. 
I'm going to go like that. I'm still, I guess that's all I'm going to do. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to glue the big one down. I think I'll put one little dimensional because it's got the ribbon there and it's sticking up a little bit. I'll put one little dimensional on there. Right there. And the key thing here is just to have the hello upright. <laughs> Oh, the bear. See, I think the bear glue is the one I have. I bought and it's in a drawer. Oops. Thank you, honeybees. So I'm using these were dollar. These were from my embellishments on the 11th. I posted at noon today. This paper back here, I could have done that too. This was from the magazine, which if you didn't see that, this was a... Um, thing in a magazine and it came with all this pretty paper and I've been using it for embellishments and cards we're going to be you'll see more you'll see some of this later this is the one that I used for back here behind the leaf I don't think I used this one yet it's a little bit odd to me but the and then there's this one which I absolutely love and I've been you only get two sheets of each, so I've been kind of hoarding the second piece. But we have a card with the, the other part of that. And I have to put white in here. So where's that little stamp? I think I'll try and get some kind of stamp in the corner for the inside. Maybe just the leaf right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it sort of does look like toile, doesn't it? Speaking of that, I'm getting low on my toile tidings, finally. Now here, let me undo that. I'm going to mask off the acorn. Hopefully it'll work. Um, because I was getting ink on it and I don't want it on my card. I don't know if I got enough on the leaf either, though. But let's try it. Eh, smudgy. All right, hang on. I have to clean this. Clean this a little bit. I'm using the stamp cleaner because my chamois dry. And paper toweling. I do like stamping up stamp cleaner. <laughs> it does get more of the red and stuff off that usually stain your photopolymer and rubber stamps. Um, you should probably rinse them with water, but I'm not going to for right now. All right, now, let me get another piece of masking stuff. Try that again. And by the way, I got this on Amazon. It came with two rolls. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't terribly expensive, but they're 700 inches on a roll, so I have like 1400 inches of masking tape you know stuff uh, what do you call that stuff that kind of tape <laughs> post-it tape yeah all right let's try that again um, um see i got a little bit on the very tip up there i'm gonna try and wipe that off okay let's try it again Nope, I got a little bit on this pumpkin, too. All right, let's try it. <laughs> That's better. It still has a little bit of shadow, but not so bad. It's going on the inside. It's okay. If I ever send it anyway, because I'm not really good about sending my cards out. <laughs> I need to get better about that. Organizing them and sending them. 
Okay. Now, if I wasn't taking up too much time, I would have probably saved that paper to use for die cutting and said, yep. Let me just wipe that off with the leftover cleaner I have on there. And then we'll figure this one out next, and then we'll get to the ones that are more closely done, close to, closer to done. So pull out your stickers. This is two stickers. These two are together and this one. And I stamped, have a beautiful day. And that was out of, I forget. I think the autumn, yeah, I put it away already. It's a retired autumn beauty or something. So, um, crushed, crushed curry. I don't think I have a card mat. But we could do something similar, or I think on this one, let's pull out that paper because I'm getting lazy. <laughs> what if we just did that? I think I like that. We're going to use the same paper on a crushed curry background. So I'm just cutting an eight and a half by 11 on the 11 inch side down to five and a half. And then I'm scoring it four and a quarter. You could also do it the, on the long side. Um, and I do like the trimmer that has the score thingy in it because that way, I, oops, that way I don't have to pull out an extra, um, trimmer so this I need actually I need four by five and a quarter and then don't throw that away because I use them in the cards too and don't throw that away because that'll probably go on the inside <laughs> all right so now we're just going to do this and this and I think that'll be pretty takes away from having too much of the yellow yeah exactly and I've had quite a lot of stash <laughs> and funny story on the magazine paper is that I was going through all my magazines because I had a ton of jewelry making ones and then I still have like two magazine holders full of paper craft ones I got rid of all the jewelry making ones uh, except for some easy wire ones, I think. And I kept all the paper craft ones because when I was going through them, almost all of them have either stamps or paper or dies or something in them that I wanted to keep. <laughs> and um, I can't get them here anymore, at least not on um, the pandemic did in any subscriptions, let me put it that way, to those magazines. So this was uh, like an offre ribbon. And this was the same paper that I had just die cut circles out of. Now, the only, they're, they're white on the back, so they're not double-sided. But that's okay. Cute, right? So we need another white. Ah! I don't have any more white. Hang on. We have to cut white. This is kind of a crafting as I go thing here tonight, today. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, Melanie. <laughs> um, I Like I said, I, I do love stamping up stamps. I think they're high quality. And I, I do realize that sometimes when I use other stamps that... Um, they don't hold up for me now I've had some things from Stampin' Up that aren't perfect too and I try to be honest about that all right I need some five and a quarter so what I do is I cut five and a quarter by four and then by four and I save this because it's a half inch strip that I can do sentiments on and then I do the same thing with the other part Another long strip, and so out of one sheet, I get four panels. 
um, one sheet of eight and a half by 11, plus some strips that I have a little bin behind me that I keep them in. And there we go. So now I have four that we can use. And if we run out, we'll do more. And where's that piece of paper? I think we will, I don't wanna cut, oh, I can't get a hold of it. I don't want to cut this one because it's big enough to use on a on a card front as a strip. But this one I can put up here at the top, or the, I can put it at the bottom or the top. But so my granddaughter, my oldest one, is in college now. Oh my goodness! I haven't gotten to see her college yet because it's just been too hectic it's like six hours away on the other side of the state and um but she's all moved in i babysat a couple weekends ago two weekends ago i think it was uh, i babysat the younger one so that her parents could help her move in their car was so packed <laughs> unbelievable so I think she's doing okay. I haven't really heard much, so hmm, I don't know. All right. So those were the ones I didn't have anything prepared for. I think they came out beautifully, and they're all different. So then this one was the first one I showed on my um, embellishment video. And this piece of paper, this is current Stampin' Up! paper. This is out of the... Harvest, Rustic Harvest, hang on, yeah, Rustic Harvest, it's in the uh, July to December mini, and this is the back, which is Cajun Craze, and what I was trying to say in the video earlier, um, the embellishment video is, at some point, I want to color a piece again, but then I want to turn it over and have that sort of shadow leaf image. I think that is beautiful. So I just took the paper, paper, I keep wanting to say that, pumpkin pie and cherry cobbler light alcohol markers by Stampin' Up. I do have Spectrum Noir that have been stashed in my closet. I don't have, I have one Copic um which is right i think it's a copic is this a copic french vermilion no it's a sioux color i don't have any copics <laughs> so and i have never used that one i got that in a grab bag or something so this has black and white on some of it but it's it's gorgeous papers the one i love the most that i don't even think i've used yet is um i don't know if I can find it. Well, this one you can cut gourds and stuff out. I haven't done that yet either. Here it is. Here you go. This is six instant cards. You just cut it in half and four and four that way. Instant cards. Beautiful. I love fall colors. <laughs> but I don't know. I think. I think. You know, it has to go this way, doesn't it? Um, this is washi tape and it's Echo Park, um, fall is in the air. One of my favorite fall washies, which I'm set. I'll be, I put them all away. I think we're just going to glue this down, honestly. And I already have a double dimensional on there. So let's just do that. I don't think I want to put any more ribbon or anything on, but this is a technique you can do if you have black and white paper and it's double sided. Check what's on the other side. If it's a pattern like this, you can use that, you know, color this side and use the other side if you so choose. So these turned out more orangey, but there are like cherry cobbler color leaves in the washi. And I felt like this was more cherry cobbler. And I only colored in the ones that had the same shape as this sticker from Dollar Tree. So let me take this off the dimensional and I did put this on black because it's a black background and this thanks for everything was out of the magazine stamps 
Um, that particular stamp, I don't like. I explained that in the other video. This might have been the first time I used it, and it looks okay. But every other time I used it after that, it had little dots in the in the lettering. So I don't know why that is. Um, one thing I am going to do is get the retired holiday rhinestones and put a couple more cherry cobbler ones up, um, like up here. I have one on the embellishment, but let's let's put a couple more around here somewhere. I think maybe right there on that dot. Yeah, just a couple more. <laughs> Who said bye? Okay, thanks, honeybees, for joining us. Uh, yeah, my markers might already be dried up because I haven't used them since like 2018. Um, but I will get them out. My problem is I don't have any room on my desk to put them. So I have to figure out where to put them. All right, let's get another panel and see if I have a scrap of that paper that I can use inside the card. I have this little scrap, but <clears> then <throat> I have, I'm going to cut a strip of this, a long strip, and we'll use that. And maybe we'll even um, color a couple leaves or not. <laughs> and it'll be five and a quarter. All right. I don't typically save bits like this for very long. I'll stick it back in, but um, chances are eventually that little piece will get tossed but I do save long strips and um, I could color this one I think I'm just going to leave it black and white actually because it's on a cherry cobbler card base Come on. or I could have used um, I could have used the washi and put it up and down on here too that would have been maybe a little prettier but I do like using wet glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room, right? <laughs> yeah, it would have been. Except I would have had to go get it because I don't have it right at my desk. It's not far away. but And you know what? I still could do that because it's thinner than this. And I could put it over top it like I did there. But I'll do that later if I choose to do that. So that's that one. Next, we have this one. This is, oh, this is from the celebration paper, Rings of, what's it called? Rings of Life? I forget. See the rings? <laughs> that goes with that um, tree rings set in the July to December. This is cute, too. It has mushrooms and stuff on it. Really pretty paper. And this is Stampin' Up! Current um, Leaf Embellishments. They're called Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack. You get like a ton of them. 50. No. 25 maple leaves and 50 gems. Um... This is a piece of cherry cobbler, which I used the magazine embossing folder. It had an embossing strip. I covered most of it up. It has a little texture. This is that washi, same washi. And this was from a um, Goodwill store. I had bought a long thing that had uh, embossing thread on it. So I am simply going to just put this across here after I glue this down. <laughs> Ringed in nature. Thank you, Melanie. I'm so bad with names lately. And I'm too lazy to get out the brochures anymore. Because I'm not really selling stuff. And celebration's over anyway. But I'm still going to be using this stuff. And I'm just going to glue this down. No dimensional. Eh, maybe. Might have to get more glue out soon. 
Oh, I hate covering up that little butterfly. Yeah, oh well. And that fits perfectly across there. The little ribbons go a little wonky, but that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to see if I have a strip of that paper too, but I think I put it on my shelf. Hang on. Maybe I do have it out because it's retired. I have a lot of retired stuff out. I do. Here it is. Rings of Love is the name of the paper. Is that what you said? Oh, Ringed in Nature is the stamp set, but Ringed Rings of Love was the celebration paper. I do have a, a piece I can cut. I like, um, sometimes I use half inch if that's all I have, but I prefer the three quarter inch because it just gives you a little bit more of the image. And five and a quarter. I want that butterfly. <laughs> I don't know. I like butterflies. So anyway. Yeah, exactly. People that got it still want to use it. I really, you know, and I think I have two packs of it because I got enough that I could get two packs of it. I do that with, I tried really hard this year to, to not order um, so much that I'd have so many extra celebration things, but I did end up with, uh, I think, the gold paper two or three of those and an extra of this uh, and an extra of the envelopes before they were gone the pool party and soft seafoam because I can always use them the cards and envelopes um, and then I had another order uh, last one and I held it till September just so I wouldn't get any more celebration items <laughs> so anyway because it got to a point where i didn't want any more now i know a lot of demos will just either eventually put them in grab bags or boxes or whatever but I mean, what if people don't want them you know and grab boxes anyway that's a cute card i really like that i'm not sure that Washi actually really goes with it, but it's close enough. Alrighty, on to the next one. We're back to this black and white paper. But we're going to use the Cajun Craze sign. And this is Plaid Tidings retired paper from last year. And this leaf, I used several different washi tapes. A floral, sort of a cajun -y craze color one, and a plaid. And then I did the reverse down here. And this hello was out of Soft Seedlings. And I stamped it in Cajun Craze. And I just offset. All the shapes, the circles and the squares and stuff. Um, not this. This was a postage stamp punch. But any of the circles and squares and flags that are stitched um, were from the stylish shapes which has circle squares and flags <laughs> uh, i did i got the aspen tree die um oh is that the one they added it or is that this month now i have the aspen tree dies yes and this month um there are like what is it five or six different stamp sets that they're in the July to December or annual catalog without dies, and they have dies this month, this month only. And one of those is, hmm, I think I got two of them. One of them is Apple Harvest. This is in the July to December mini, page 54. 
but the dies are special limited time only they're called apple blossom dies and they're really cool and on the 13th i have a project using that so come back and see that on the 13th <laughs> Um, and that'll be up at like 7.30 in the morning. This one I feel needs a little something in the background. Um, but I don't know what. Mm. Where's that roll of ribbon? Did I put out oh, here? Let's see if I want to do something just like this to break it up. What do you think? I think that'll be all right going that way instead of this way because I already have it going this way another option would be a black ribbon perhaps I have this that's a thinner ribbon that's kind of cool too is it too much though Oh, uh, black strip of paper, perhaps. Yes, that is a good idea because I have lots of scraps of black paper. In fact, I have one right here. That works. I could do that. Let me put these away. <laughs> That's probably better, especially since I already glued down the back. I, I don't know why I did that. All right, let me cut this to five and a quarter. Because I can't cut a straight line at all. <laughs> you know, you know me. And is that where I want it? Right there. Maybe over a little. So that we have some... Yeah, I think about an inch in, roughly. Yeah, thank you. Now, it just dawned on me that I have... You remember when Michaels had those dollar or dollar fifty bins or whatever at the front of the store? Do they still... I haven't been in Michaels in... I think I went once during the pandemic officially, like 2020 and 2021. And I do think, well, this is bumped up. So I think I'm just going to glue the squares down because the leaf is already bumped up. Um, anyway, I kind of doubt that they have such a thing. And if they do, it's probably like $5 bins now or something. I don't know. Everything's getting ridiculously. I went to the grocery store yesterday just to get a few things that we were getting low on that my son needs for his lunches and stuff. <sighs> and also fast food for dinner because we were getting tired and lazy. Anyway, um, I'm just going to put plain white on the inside of this one. Um, I spent $74. I'm like, what the heck did I get that cost $74? <laughs> you know, that's from Plaid Tidings. I love that plaid also. And I used that somewhere else in this oh i think at the end here i have some more embellishments with that paper from scraps use your scraps to make embellishments and then put them on cards or tags or whatever that came out cute thank you for the black strip idea i like that all righty here's another one with that paper but with white as a background um Hmm. You know, on this one, no, that's too much. I really love this Dollar Tree ribbon. It was the last one in this color that they had, but it matches Cajun Cray so well. And it's got like crumb cake. It's thin and it does fray. As you can see, I just pulled it. But anyway, um, it needs a little something. I don't know what. Let's see. Um, a white strip across. White ribbon. Seam binding ribbon. Oops. Or, oh, you know 
what? I have more of that. Where's that stuff? I don't have enough of it. But maybe linen thread wrapped a couple times. No. I'm thinking either just white paper or... Oh, they fooled you. It was per pound of... Wow. Wow. That's a lot. I think on this one, I'm just going to put a strip of white ribbon wrapped around. And it'll be easier. <laughs> it'll just be easier. I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today and take time out of your Sunday to spend it with me a little bit. of. It. I haven't been live for a while, and I'm not going to promise every week to be live. But every now and then I'll come live. And I think, does this time of day work good or is 7 o'clock at night better? I get I get kind of tired by around 7 because <laughs> it's right after dinner and, you know, the food thing. Um, yeah. So it's a little late for me to do 7 now. I'm going to snip them off a little bit. Boop. Boop. <laughs> the snips don't want to come on. You like the afternoon? Okay. I think I'm going to like that too. And 3 o'clock is actually good for me Eastern because um, my son's already going to work if it's during the weekdays. So it's not like I have to be cooking or anything. Although I do have to cook today. <laughs> And I know what I'm cooking, but I'm not going to start it until I'm done this, so there. <laughs> and I think that ribbon is thin enough. I'm just going to glue this down, too. Uh, this is more of that magazine paper. But stamping up leaf and Dollar Tree ribbon and Hello stamped from the soft seedlings. And this is washi tape fox cut out. By me fussy cutting, which is not something I enjoy at all, and especially with washi tape because, oh my goodness. Well, we'll fix that now. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I don't do it very often. It's funny because earlier I checked. Now, here's what we're going to do we're going to cut it, and we're going to put it on another card base. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Crock potting a corn. Oh, that sounds good. I'm coming there. Oh, no. It has a fine crack. That's dangerous. Okay. And I'm just going to leave it the same dimension. Make sure this one is opening the right way. And now I'll use this as a card mat, right? Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe I did that on a live. I had to remember to check. I'm going to have to get another glue out real soon. Like, maybe now. Come on. I know you have a little bit more in you. There we go. Now it blobbied out. All right. Yep. Opening the right way. <laughs> uh, so now the outside is a little thick, but, oh well. I'm not going to do anything on the inside of that one. Okay, now this one, it's because I turned half the pile the opposite direction, that's what happened. Uh, this one is the acorn paper from the magazine. Ugh, my hands are all sticky. And the squirrel from the magazine stamp. But... I ran this white card through the Stampin' Up 3D leaf, falling leaf, leaf fall embossing folder. And then I took my Stampin' Write markers, the die-based ones, in Old Olive, actually Bumblebee, and Cinnamon Cider. This is a retired color Cinnamon Cider, but I love it. This is the washi tape from Target that doesn't stick well. And I actually have it scotch taped down on the back. That's going to go there. 
the squirrel I stamped on white and then die cut it out with the stylish uh, shapes and the background paper is this acorns um, I use some really old well I used washi but I covered it up with some really old retired stampin up uh, lacy ribbon in what appears to be crushed curry but I could be wrong which I got at a thrift store for a dollar and then these are from the gilded autumn designer paper that I punched out with the coordinating punches and we're just gonna go like that and that and that's our card <laughs> Yeah, it does. But you know what? I put it on there and then you couldn't see any of it. So I covered it up with the ribbon, which you can see peeking out a little bit. But if I do another one, I'll, I'll probably put a strip of white or something across. Oh, this is driving me insane. Um, all right. I have it opening the right way. And the copper just gives it a little bit of sparkle and I think goes with the cinnamon cider. And I think I have glue dots on this, so I need to put, I mean, um, dimensionals. So I need to put some on this <laughs> too. And before I put any in the middle, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Because it's too loose. And then put some in the middle. And I will put one right on the edge of that ribbon, actually, to help hold it down. Okay, let's put this one on first. Um, I can't get it open right now, Melanie, without getting the pliers out and pulling that pin out that's stuck in there but I do have um, I have another glue thing that I bought that I'm not crazy about but I'll use it um, I was looking for a fine tip glue pen and there's so many I really didn't know what to get so I bought this Studio Katia glue. It's a. It says dries clear, perfect to use with embellishments. Keep the keep the cap closed when not in use. It's a little runnier than I thought it would be. I don't know, but I'll use it. And the tip is not as fine as I thought, so I'm gonna be back to using my fine tip little bottles for my art glitter glue soon and i have two bottles of our glitter glue here but one just has a regular cap on it okay let me see what i'm doing here try and center that under the square a little bit good enough i think that's cute except that the squirrel has a mean face can you see that he, it looks like a rodent squirrel right <laughs> i mean i know they're all rodents but he kind of looks mean Anywho, all right, here's the leftover strip of that magazine paper that I used that same, see, this is why I'm going to actually use that glue. There's not enough there, I don't think, to um, to tape down. This one seems to be sticking. And... I already, I took that stamp from the magazine. I think I forgot to say that on the embellishment video. And I stamped tone on tone on crushed curry. And now we're just going to take this, this is Dollar Tree embellishment stamp, sticker. Dollar Tree twine magazine. This is the one that's all kind of funny. I wonder if it was my ink. I don't do. I don't think so. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just going to glue that down there, and that's that card, and then we'll put something on the inside. I need to take a couple, probably be at least an hour for me to, um, now this is funny because the 
the leaf is dimensional. So I had to add some minis here to make it even with the card base <laughs> where it sticks out. I hope that makes sense. Made sense to me. Not that I matter, but you know, there we go. Done. And let's use this piece that I have to cut down a little bit more. Um, from the one I opened wrong. <laughs> uh, thank you for the thumbs up, people. I appreciate it. My friends, my YouTube, what is, um, what are we, oh, the Halkettes? Yeah, I don't know. You're not Halkettes, you're just friends of Halk. <laughs> In my mind. I, I don't have an, an extra strip of this because I used the four and then the, the rest of it there. But I think that, oh, I forgot to cut it down. I thought I cut it down. Hang on. I didn't cut down the top part. That's what I did. Right? Five. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is five and a quarter by four. Huh. Is this card small? Yeah, four and a quarter. Oh, the card is not five and a half. How about that? I have an odd size card. All right, we'll put this down to five. That's funny. So maybe I had a scrap and I thought it was a card base size and it was actually smaller. Oops. Oh, well. I won't send it to a card maker and they'll never know. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I've been seriously considering taking all of my made cards, except for my Christmas cards and a few, you know, like thank yous and thinking of yous and hauling them off to Goodwill and hoping that somebody else can use them because that way I don't have to ship them anywhere. I have boxes and boxes of made cards and, um, I really don't want to take the time to go through them and say, is this going to be acceptable for cards for soldiers and stuff like that. All right. Now we're getting down to the last three, which two of which use backgrounds I had made a year ago. Um, and this one, I did that splatter on crushed curry again. Let's do this one first. Cause I think this one, Hmm. This is not the one. Yes, it is. I don't know. That yellow ribbon now doesn't show up on there very good. But I'm going to go with it anyway. <laughs> Hi, Samara. Thank you. I have all these cards we've made. I'll show them all at the end. We just have these three left to do which are using the embellishments from the embellishments on the 11th. We did the three from last month's embellishments, the hippos first, and then we did the three that didn't have card mats made yet. And then now I'm doing all the ones that did. I almost feel like I need a white strip or something. Um, one sec. Mm. I don't think I have a white strip long enough. Yes, I sure I do, but not wide enough. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a card. Eh. Here we go. And it's not long enough. I might have to cut another piece of white. Um, I feel like I need something here to make that ribbon pop off the yellow. Maybe another strip of uh, blah, 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 cherry, cherry cobbler. Just, just so that that, um, there's something stamped on there. Um, just so that yellow pops off like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to cut that down. Two, five and a quarter. I 
I'm actually going to toss that because it does have stamping on the other side already. <laughs> and I had to get the spacing kind of kind of correct. So just about a quarter of an inch in. All right. Let me make sure. That, oh, yeah, they're stamping down here. Okay. I mean, this glue is okay. It just is a little more liquidy than I thought it was going to be. Um, uh, I never heard of that brand. But if you can recommend a glue pen with a fine point, let me know. Now this, my intent was glue this down. But I think I'm going to have to put two little dimension, two dimensionals over here on this. Because otherwise it's going to be popping up. All right. Hopefully that'll stick. You give them all to your son and his fiance. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't think my daughter, well, my daughter did ask for one, one like a shoe box full. So I have to go through and I guess give her a variety. But most of the time, what she's been asking me for is like wedding cards. And of course, I don't have any of those. <laughs> I have birthday, get well soon, thinking of you, a little note, thank yous. You know, but I don't have, I might have one wedding card and one sympathy card if I didn't send them out. I don't know. Um, okay. And I'm out of whites, so I'm going to hold off putting the insides on this. And I'll either see if I have another strip of this paper or this washi again for the inside. That came out cute. All right. Now this one definitely needs something. What if I, on the video earlier, I said maybe I would get more of this twiny stuff and wrap it under, but kind of thinking like a half circle coming out, maybe a doily, maybe a doily. And then put the sediment off of that. Does that look too white? And this is actually smaller than... Let me check this card size, actually. <laughs> um, it is four and a quarter, so... It's not five and a half, which is weird. Another one like that, but this then has to be... Yeah, this is three and three quarters. So actually, by must be five and a quarter, right? So I actually could use, I could lop off a quarter inch of this and put a mat under it of some color. Maybe crushed curry again. I'm not sure I like this bright white. Um, and the only colors in here I have are cinnamon cider. That doesn't look too bad. Blue and gray. I had some of those pearl white, but I think, I don't know where they are. And then a sentiment strip coming out this way, similar to how I did that thank you, but maybe not quite that big. What do you think? I think I'm going to get crushed curry for behind that. Mm. Yeah. But since it's an odd size, I had to think about this. So this, I have to measure again. Measure twice, cut once, right? <laughs> Not real good about that. Um, so this is three and three quarter by five. But I think this card is only, I might have to cut a new piece of this because this is only, yeah, let me cut a, a real card size. 
in cherry cobbler and then a mat in crushed curry. So five and a half. So I should have two five and a halves. So yes. I'll put this back in here. And by four and a quarter. And then let's cut this to five and a quarter by four. So we go like that. Put this here. Not, I'm not loving that. Mm. Maybe I could just cut out a white circle and find a sentiment to stamp right on it, like maybe this, but on the big circle. All right, let me get those dies out again. How'd they disappear so quick? Because <laughs> I buried them. Do any of you have these deckled, deckled rectangles? I just got them. They were in my final Stampin' Up! order. And I used them uh, on a project for the 13th. So come see that. On the 13th, it's the Be Creative Challenge or collab. Let's see if I do white. Actually, I think it's very vanilla back here, or it looks very vanilla because this was a stencil. Um, I'm going to cut it up white if I can find a piece of white. This is too small, isn't it? Yep. All right. I wonder, can I use the next one down so I can fit it on my scrap? <laughs> and will that still look right? Yes. I'm going to do that. I'll just go around the edges um, with crushed curry and make it look yellowish too. You love the doily? Oh, whoops, back up. You love the doily like that? With the brown or with the white? I don't know. The white is too, it's too bright for me. Um, and the brown doesn't seem to go. I'm going to cut this out and see if I like it. You know, somewhere I have doily. Oops, I forgot to put a plate back on. I have doily um, dies. You can cut out any doily you want. Let's start using this stuff. <laughs> But I forget I have it. I know I have those, though. Come on. All right. So that'll go there. Put these back in. I'm going to stamp. I think I'm going to stamp a pleasant little note again. Um, unless I can find a different stamp that I like for in there. Yeah, I like that one. Or this hello, maybe. Let me see how big it is. No, I like the other one better. <laughs> I like that, but not, not here. All right, pleasant, pheasant. Okay. And I said I was going to go around this with crushed curry. And I'm going to do that with a sponge, which might have a little bit of pumpkin pie on it, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, on your screen, the brown looked good. Aww. I wasn't feeling it, sorry. I do like the cinnamon cider, though, of course. And actually, the next card, maybe I should have switched them anyway. Because <laughs> that, I think, has cinnamon cider in it. 
You could use markers to do this. You could use a sponge. You really need to get new sponges, actually. And I'm going to stamp in cherry cobbler, I think. So I have to stamp this over to this side. Yay! And I'll clean that stamp in a little bit. I think that'll work. And now we're going to go like that. So I'm just going to put a little, little snail, snail tape runner. Do you guys use big tape runners? You know, those ones that I used to have one of those pink ones. I forget what they're called. Um, all right. Do I want the leaves falling? Yes. But I got rid of it because it was heavy for my hands, first of all. And all right, let's put this together. Yes, ATG gun. I sold mine a while, long while ago, a couple of years ago. But these, um, the tape runners, the little ones, they run out of tape fast. So that's not really economical. And I don't like the idea of throwing all those plastic things. You know, when you take them apart, the refill still has plastic into the landfills. So I don't know what to do. That's another reason I use wet glue, which still has plastic, but. The larger bottles are more economical and then put them into little bottles and I can. And tear and tape is, is good, but it just takes too long to do it every time, right? Now, because I have a little smudgy here, I might get a little piece of something and make a bow. But in the meantime, we're just going to glue this down. So if you make backgrounds in advance, actually, let's see what I have. I have this. Now I'm going to use. I think I'm going to get this back out. I put it away already, and I'll put a I'll put a little bow on there, and maybe some of those embellishments. Um, in cherry cobbler. Uh-oh. I just knocked the green one off. These are retired holiday. I wish they kept them forever and ever, but they didn't. <laughs> they kept them for a while. All right, let me see. You have and use your ATG gun daily. Oh, you can't get it to work for you. Mine worked. It just was heavy and klutzy to me. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a bit not good either. See, Stampin' Up! got rid of these snails because they were having complaints their cards weren't holding either in um, humidity. But I, well, I don't know. But mine seemed to hold up okay. But I don't know if they do by the time the person gets them. Who knows? But you know what? Most of the time, people getting them are going to throw them in the trash anyway, so I'm really not going to worry about it. Um, it is humid here, too, but it's not like Florida humid, but it, it can be some days in the summertime. Anyway, again, I'll have to do the inside later because I don't have any more. Well, I have very vanilla. I think that would look all right with this one. Yeah, let's use very vanilla on the inside. Okay. Just plain. I think we have some pretty cards here out of stickers and backgrounds I made a year ago. Now, this one's pretty busy. This is the spiral die, like tie-dye kind of thing. 
I did it a year ago and I think I used cinnamon cider, crushed curry, and pumpkin pie, it looks like. Or possibly this is cherry cobbler, pumpkin pie, and crushed curry. It might be actually because it goes really well with the cherry cobbler. Anyway, I just thought if we have a circle in where that spiral is, it'll look nice. And I honestly don't think I want to do anything else with that. Just glue it down. Yeah, exactly. You had trouble with the snail? Um, when I first got the Seal Plus, which is the stronger of the two that Stampin' Up! has, I liked that better than the Seal. Because I felt it had a stronger hold and I mostly was using it to put ribbon and stuff on. And it does have a better hold. But on colored cardstocks, I had a problem with it tearing the paper. So I stopped using it most of the time. And I started using um, just the seal. And I grew to like that. But I had a couple issues with it um, not coming out of the... Like, I've actually thrown whole refills away because they wouldn't come out of the thing right. So, I kind of got upset with it, and I'm not buying any more. I still I have some, and I'll use them, and then I'm done. And I'm, that's why I'm asking about ATGs and stuff, but um, I don't know what to do. I mostly think I'm going to continue to use wet glue, but I do like to have them for... I might have some other brands here, too. And I have... Eight more snail refills. I had nine, but I used one today. I just got glue coming out there. I'll have to use my glue eraser. And now this one I think will look better. Oh, no, that's too small. Um, I'll put a white card in. And jemmies. Let's use some more jemmies. Jemmy jemmies. And crushed. Um, oh, I only have one more cherry cobbler open. You know what? I'll use these last three pumpkin pies because why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll share all the cards at the end for those that might have come in late, later. This circle was also stamped with the, these. they make a nice background from the magazine. And one here. And a big one somewhere. Maybe here. All right. This is a nice thick card. You could make, it's not real thick, but you can make tags out of that. Just saying. I'll hang on to it for a little while. Any kind of cardboard from your stickers and stuff, use them for tags. Cut them down and use them for tags. All right. Let's look at all these cards. And what time is it? Oh, I did pretty good. I budgeted till five o'clock. All right, so we have that one and that one from pre-made background stencils and spiral die, which is, I think it's still current in Stampin' Up's um, annual catalog. And then we have, can you see them? Yes. This one, actually, let's put this over here. I can only do four at a time. The ugly squirrel, but cute card. <laughs> I don't like the way that squirrel. I like cute squirrels, but uh. when my daughter was little, one of her favorite books was called Little Miss Susie. And it was about a gray squirrel. That's the other thing. I colored it in crumb cake. And most squirrels around here are either gray, red, or occasionally black. We don't get many black squirrels. All right, you can't see them. Let me raise this up a little bit. The rabbit squirrel, yeah, exactly. JM used to use it. Oh, do you remember the brand? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Jewelry's still out on tape tape runners. Okay, so that's the first eight. And these two, I had to put a 
nope, this one I have to put aside because it doesn't have an inside. And this one. And these all have insides, I think. Yep. They have inners, inner sides. Oh no, this one does. The squirrel doesn't either. Ah. This one's white, so I don't have to worry about it. That has an inside. That has an inside. And then this one is where I colored on the paper. This was magazine paper. I think that's pretty too. This one I stamped all over background with that stamp. And so these three are the ones I didn't have any card mats for during the embellishments on the 11th video today. So we made them from scratch. This is mint macaron card base, early espresso run through a Tim Holtz burlap embossing folder that I've had for a long time. And then this is the embellishment I made for embellishments on the 11th and this Stampin' Up ribbon, which I think is retired now in mint macaron also. Yeah, this was a magazine paper that coordinated with the paper on the embellishment. And that paper is also on this embellishment, but I did the stamp background instead. Alrighty, and these I showed already, but they, I think, did I? Yeah, I showed them already, right? I don't know. I'm getting lost. <laughs> I'll try and lay, lay them back out. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, and this is the Rings of Love Celebration Designer Paper. It goes with the rings of nature, ringed in nature, something like that. I don't know. There we go. And then the rabid squirrel and these other ones that need, need inner sides. The mint and brown. Yeah, that came out. I actually really like that one, too. That came out a lot better than I thought it was going to. And I, I saved that sticker for the end because I didn't like that leaf pattern as much but I really like how that came out too I'm kind of happy with them all actually but honestly I like um, the ones with the stickers better than the ones with the craft leaves maybe I should have used craft card I have that too I should have done that well I have lots more of them so these things maybe there will be more using craft card and stuff and I was thinking they'd be fun to paint. I have a whole bunch of acrylic paints now. <laughs> um, long story. But anyway, I think I could paint these and then maybe stencil a pattern on. And that would be really cool. So I'm going to try that with some of those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Sharon from Arizona. We're just about done. Thank you, Vera. I appreciate that. And thank you all for the thumbs ups. Um, with that, I'm going to get off because I have to make dinner. What are you having for dinner? I'm having easy meatloaf using stuffing mix, which is really good. It turns out really good. Sage stuffing mix and... You can use either ground chicken, turkey, or beef, whatever you prefer. I don't have beef today. Broccoli and cheese soup. That sounds good, too. Yummy, yummy. All right. I don't know what we're having with it yet, though. Hmm. Might leave that up to my son to decide. Ha, ha, ha. All right, everybody. Happy fall, almost. Not quite. Happy Sunday. Again, moment of silence sometime if you haven't already for those impacted by 9-11, um, which I'll never forget ever, ever. I posted a comment in my community tab, if you didn't see it already, of where I was that day. <laughs> it was kind of a wild day for sure. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all. I have. All right. I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching and joining me. Hugs, love, and peace. I don't know when I'll be back on live, but I do have a video going up tomorrow with Ms. Stamp Girl Paige. And I have a video going up on the 13th, which is Tuesday, which is hashtag be creative. And our theme is school days. So come see what I did for that. 
And let's see, then I think the next one, I don't, I don't know when the next one is for this channel. The next ones are going to be jewelry channel Dahlia designs. Okay. Thank you. And hugs, love, and peace, everyone. Take care. Stay well. If you're in South Korea, I think it's over now, but they just did happy Chuseok. I only know that because I'm following BTS now. <laughs> anyway, I really like their music. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks again. Have a great day.